25th and this is what we are up to today so I just did a wash condition and a partial blowout and the reason why I say it's partial is because I use a blow dryer without a comb attachment so it's straight but not completely straight just blown out for what I need to do to it um, the last wash this is actually the next wash the last wash I shared the video the complete wash process so if you're looking at time frame this is it and I actually would not have um, washed their hair only um, <laughs> We just went through a couple of days of no AC, having to wait for parts over the weekend, and it took a serious toll because everybody was sweaty and just, yeah. So trying to keep it, keep their hair rinsed out um, every day from being sweaty, not so much washed because I didn't want it to dry out. So, um, yeah. AC now <laughs> and that was another thing I was not combing hair so it was a hot hot mess um, because of that but nonetheless it it's refreshed and I'm ready I'm getting ready to braid I'm getting ready to do a full braid on everybody so that is the reason why I went ahead and blow blew it out and um, yeah I will come back and share with you guys the results I'm not sure if I will share a, um, this is not a braid tutorial but um, yeah I will definitely share some results with you and as well as the other yeah. sit up my five year old <laughs> alright so let me get her started because you guys know four year olds in hair yeah you just <laughs> she's already all over the place turn around let me see your face. Say hi. Hi. All right. <laughs> you getting comfortable? All right, guys. It is um, getting down to the end. Thought I would pop back in. I started her hair at two o'clock. And it is now 2.22. So, as you can see, it does not take me that long at all. And, uh, yeah. Quick, quick style. Her hair is not braided very tight at all. I don't believe in braiding very tight as you can see this is still very loose and also I'm going to point out look at the, the base and the scalp I don't start at the very top because I don't want that tension right there Over the years, <clears throat> having seven little heads to do, I have learned how to braid quite effectively, efficiently, and quickly. Turn around. So, it's been not a braid tutorial per se but oh, if you can catch on to what I'm doing turn around turn around <clears throat> and again I am not braiding tightly especially her edges there we go This is pretty much it. 
I decided to do barrettes on the ends today. And I um, will come back again and share. other styles but for today this is what we have going on so um, well, I just did the white ones in the back and the colored ones on the sides <sighs> Excuse me. I'm make sure I got them all. I'll have the option to put a bow or rubber band or something there. That's the reason why I did this layer up here. Let me grab the camera up. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but there we go. Wait a minute, not yet. So. You know, see what I'm talking about. See how far down I start from the scalp or from the base of the scalp. About a half an inch down. Okay, let's spin you around. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I haven't done anything to the edge. But um, I'll probably put a little, a little bit of gel right there. But basically, she will wear her bonnet at night, and that'll be it. And this should actually last for a good two weeks. Turn around. You like get your eyebrows. We need to braid your eyebrows. Let me stop. You have my brows. Crazy brows. <coughs> I will um, post some pictures on Instagram. That way you can see throughout the uh, the days how long. It actually held up. But hopefully this was helpful. And just like I said, uh, something that's really quick, simple style that um yeah, easy to for me. I'm not sure how everybody else is speed wise, but this is what I call just a basic braid up. <laughs> hmm. Basic braid up. So I have to move on to the next head, but I am going to take a break because I still have not washed her hair yet. So, what do you say? Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I am back. I decided to combine the two videos together. So, she just got her blowout. Like I said, partial blowout. It's not straight at all. I just wanted it dry and a little bit stretched so that I can go ahead <coughs> and braid it up. But, yeah. Nice and shiny. And ready to go. So, I'll come back with the finished product. And, whew, it's a lot of area. Imagine if I had completely blown it. A lot of hair. How does it feel? It's dry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause no more water. It's dry. It's nice and soft. Nice and shiny. Oily. Because I did apply something to it before I blew it out. Of course. So it's ready to go. And, again, this is not going to take me more than half an hour to get done because I braid quickly. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to sit here all day braiding and I don't like them sitting here all day. But I will pop back in a little bit. Do this one. Alright. It is. What time is it? It's 5.20. Right on time. 5.20. So, I started her hair at 5 o'clock. Here. Turn, turn your head this way for a second. Couple more left. I think probably about two after this one. Come this way. Let me give you guys an idea. I said it does not take me that long to braid. Only thing I did different with her is I parted a little bit thinner. So she does have more braids, but all in all, still takes me about the same amount of time. Okay. We have one more after this. Close the dryer. Let's finish with this one. What color did I put on there? Black? Oh, I think I... Just mix them up right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last one.
Sit up. And so see what I mean her hair I didn't do a complete blowout and in fact I forgot to mention her hair was about two percent damp. That's because her hair is a lot thicker and I didn't want it completely dry. So I left it a little bit dry, wet, but once I got to this side, it had already um, already dried. Okay, another black one over here. Let me pull out as many as I wanted. <coughs> Hand me the bag right there, Layla. <laughs> Take that long turn around. Just mix them up right here. Alright. Oh shit, guys. I'm getting ready to put it ponytail. But here is finished product. Get your bag out of the way. Whew. So like I said, a little bit thinner. But it still took me the same amount of time. Maybe here, 30 minutes versus 25. Same technique. Not too um, high up onto the scalp. I'll leave like about an inch, half inch. Turn around. Turn around to the other side, little. Turn around. How does it feel? <laughs> She's like, I don't care, I'm done. All right, hold on. Sit, sit back for a minute so I can finish it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a rubber band on it. I'm going to. Uh -huh. Turn around, turn around. How loose that is looseness is the key so we have this style option and I just mixed up the barrettes with the colors add a little variety although that does look weird I'm gonna switch this one That looks better because the bottle row is all burgundy. Looking good, good, good. So I will post some pictures on Instagram and on Facebook to, just to keep up and let you guys know how long it held up. And I might come back during the takedown if I can remember. But, um, and this should be a good two weeks. I like the way it feels. It's nice and moist. And I don't know if you guys caught a glimpse. But if you rewind you look on the table, you see a stack of some hair products. I'm not getting ready to go into it. But a fresh batch of something and something I whipped up. So, or a fresh supply of something. And something I whipped up with that supply. So, a lot of options here. That's the way, the reason why I braided it this way. Turn around. Just so we can put it up like that. <coughs> but all in all, they will wear their bonnets tonight. 
and that way um, it won't be a mess. So, what do you say? Thank you. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Guys, gotta clean this room up. Bye, guys. All right, guys. Before I end, I wanted to share with you all because I always forget at night to um, pick up the camera and just show them before they go to bed. But this is the actual bonnet that they use. It is a drawstring, and I found this one at uh, Family Dollar. It's the only one of this kind that actually stays on and it works for little kids because oftentimes the ones with the um, just the elastic band um, don't stay on them all night and I find this one does it's adjustable so it stays on them pretty well and it doesn't leave any marks it's not tight um, and that elastic doesn't rub against them and so yeah totally works and I, like I said it's only about two dollars maybe two third two uh, fifty but um, all in all this is what you're looking for and like I said make sure it's the one with the drawstring um, bye guys thumbs up and I will see you guys next time